Whew. Right, so this is our punishment game, Pizza Connection 3. This game was submitted by... Checking, checking. Oh, it's from Mark Giroux. For that note, Yu-Gi-Oh! was submitted by the Merchant of Venus, a.k.a. McUser, as well as Pizza Rific, Traffic Cone, De Bruges, Dark Young, Killer Bays 101, Mord Kalb, Health, Adraharu, and Goka Ryujin. So sometimes the lobbies win it, and sometimes just random picks win it. Uh, I know nothing about this game. I've not even launched it to play it. This is as far as I've ever gotten here. But we have this impressive map of Europe, which ignores the existence of Switzerland and Portugal and all of Africa and Scotland and Wales and Ireland and Canada. In fact, the only things in the world here are England, France, Spain, Italy, Germany, Australia and the USA. Interesting. On the bright side, it ignores the Dutch. Don't we all? Is that my avatar? I don't know anything about this punishment game submission, it was just this game, so let's, um... Too many cooks spoil the broth, sure. Let's just f go through the campaign. It starts off in, uh... Italia. Jake, it doesn't even acknowledge South America exists. <laughs> Don't we all, TBW? What has South America contributed to the world? Riddle me that. Game sure takes its sweet time here. My dear grandniece, last time I saw you, you were 13 months old. I was bouncing you on my knee. Your mother was my brother Alfredo's favorite daughter. Such a beautiful woman. If only she had had more time. I don't know if your father told you about it, or if you even knew him and know that I'm your great uncle. But I do know one thing. You've certainly eaten my pizzas before. Everyone's been to Pizza Padrino. And that's... was me. When you read these lines, I'll have already passed on. And my empire, my life's work, was unfortunately no longer mine in the end. It fell into the hands of Don Frodato, who took over my global chain through fraud and slander. You're my last living relative, and your inheritance is small. But I bequeath to you all that I have left, the pitiful remnants of my Swiss bank account, and my very first, well, restaurant, which never became part of my chain. I've always looked after it the best I could. May it bring you more luck than it did your great uncle, Carmine Vitelli. Right, this seems more like a curse than uh, bequeathing here. First restaurant. Oh god, WASD is inverted. I press W and I go down. Uh, that's gotta change. That has got to change. camera movement. Okay, that's good. Zoom works. I mean, rotation does something, but I feel like that should be inverted. That doesn't feel right. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay. The first restaurant of your great uncle was a small pizza truck. Oh, right. I thought I'd get this, but no. I get this. Uh, maintenance was probably not the strongest side of Carmine. The Swiss bank account still contained 10,000 bucks, but when parking fees for three years, a few welding jobs, minor repairs, 
There won't be much left. High time to create some pizzas and make some money. Okay. You know, I trust everything looks and sounds okay, but you tend to keep me on the right track with that one. Let's pick it and open up its contextual menu. Okay, that's... Don't know where chat's going to go here then. Mm, just going to shove you up there. Hope you don't mind. There are many different types of people living in this city. Explore the city by clicking on buildings. Learn which types of citizens are visiting them. Afterwards, select your pizza cart. Click on the blinking icon. Next, click move. Switch through all the pizza cart spots. Clicking on the ver... Ah, oh, jeez. You can move the cart again if the position isn't good. All right. All right, well, let's move you over. <laughs> okay, sure. This game is choppy as hell, though. No need to be beautiful. Simple is fine. Alright, so what kind of pizza do these people like? Wow. This, this, this game is muckle loud, you're going right the way down there. Okay, what am I even looking at here? Open the bakery. Bakehouse. Okay, we can create our first thing here. Shape your pizza by dragging the dough with the left mouse button. Okay. Reset the shapes. Delete all the ingredients. Okay. I have to mind all that. Doesn't seem to let me want to shit. Ah, there we go. I think Mario's face in uh, Mario 64 allowed for more movement options than this. Oh, it really feels like I can barely move anything here. There we go. It's the loving couple pizza. Right, we have tourists around here, right? So how do I click on... Ah, right, this shows what tourists like. They love parsley. Alright, there we go, have some mega parsley. Wait, left is big and right is... Yeah, okay. And some jalapenos, of course. Cheese is great, so... I find the use of ingredients on this pizza okay, says the big shot. Okay. Oh, but uh, tourists don't really like this stuff. Hmm. Is that the undo? No, that's rotate. Tourists like things like mushrooms. Let's 
This pizza has a good amount of toppings. Sweet. Good enough. Customer ratings requires market research. Alright. So we save this pizza as uh, the couple's pizza. The pizza's been saved. It's now available. Groovy. Add the pizza to the menu. Alright. Do I get out of here to do that? There we go. Zero pizzas in stock. So how do we get them in stock? Okay, it's actively restocking. Is this really what Italy looks like? I've never been, but... It's got a lot of shine going on. The cars are driving on the wrong side of the road. Okay, there we go. We're a pizza place with one pizza available. I really enjoyed the short waiting time. If that's all you can say about my restaurant, then that's probably not a very good one. You should put the pizza on the menu, close the cart, click on the pizza tab and the cutlery and the... Yeah, I managed to do that. Each restaurant can have up to 10 pizzas on the thing. Use the limited space in your storage room to keep the amount of different ingredients as low as possible. Okay. The recipes of the standard pizzas in the manual of the game were part of the copy protection in the original game, if I recall correctly, says Zergle. So I can take it the original game came out uh, quite some time ago. What did you think of the pizza, friend? Okay, again, you like the short waiting time. The look of the people, it's a lot like um, the style they used in Parkitect. Which I gotta say, I hated. Can I set the price of the pizza? Because if I can't... Ah, right, I'm making a... Uh, four and a half buck... Profit on each of the pizzas. Okay. Alright, they want me to add another pizza to the menu. Let's get on it. Onwards to the bakehouse. Should I though? Should I really care about that? I quite like seaweed. Let's have some seaweed on the thing. There you go. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Can use this thing to trim down whatever I have. So if I have some ham, like if I have big ham. Oh man, I like the look of that. price of this pizza is too high. Yeah, th this pizza's... The real meat lover's pizza. 33 kilo piece of pizza. Mm. Is anybody gonna eat this? I find the use of ingredients okay. Student can't afford it. Oh, I like the use of ingredients here. Yeah, this is the Monster Hunter pizza. I mean, I could just have a massive chunk of potato on it. 
There we go. Looks great. We call this one the Estonian. Dear grandniece, I'm old, and I'm afraid I've actually forgotten your name over the years. If you read this, you deserve better than a doddering old great uncle, because you have decided to take over the restaurant and become the family heir. That's good. There are a few things you should know. The relationship between your father and your mother's family was difficult. I don't know what he knew about us, whether he ever contacted you, what you know about us. I don't know if you want to know, but if you do, in some of my former restaurants, in very good hiding places, you will find information. If you go that far, you deserve to know the whole family history. You'll find them if you're really passionate about pizza. That is precisely why this information is safe from that usurper. He's not investing. All he cares about is money. Your great uncle, Carmine. But Carmen, as a businessman, your only moral obligation is to make money. Earn more money. No one takes you seriously. If you don't succeed, attract attention by earning more money. Remember, you can fast forward time. Alright, sure. Show me the dosh. Well, I am making money, which is nice. That sound effect is a bit horrible, though. Couldn't I just be open for longer? Look, everyone's starving for pizza. Why are we not open for them? Guess it doesn't work the way I want it to. Well, we're going to earn that money, no problem. I, I wonder what the popular ones in the menu are. <laughs> we ran out of stuff for the Estonian. But really, what's what's selling here? Nobody's ordered it, so... Hmm. Ah, but maybe that's because we didn't get the supplies in. Uh, no, my money's gone way down, probably because of the running costs of this thing, so I need to get a load of pizzas shifted out here, so hurry up and open up. Look at the profit margin on the Estonian. Uh, statistics on the Estonian. <laughs> no, wait, it shows here, right? Ah, hey. Makes good money compared to what it costs to make. Oh, jeez, is nobody coming to me? Looking around, it doesn't look like people are hungry for pizza right now. That can't be good. Okay, but now they're getting hungry for pizza, so come along, everybody. Oh god, nobody wants the Estonian. But I am making some actual money here. Ah, but then we close up again. God, the nights pass so slowly. Yeah, I probably need to make a more expensive pizza. The Estonian's just not cutting the mustard here.
Oh, I can set profit margin. Ooh. Right, forget it. The Estonians aren't even getting their potato anymore. How do I find my other one? Uh... Oh god, no. No, no, no. Right, here we go. Here's a couple pizza. Let's load that one up. And then vastly increase the profit margin made on it. I said vastly increase. There we go. That's how you make the big bucks. Make one with tuna and olives, says Franconian. Your wish is my command. Oh, I can put the whole tin on. That's cool. And then you want olives as well, huh? I can do olives. Once I see where olives are. Ah, they're a pit there. Uh, the way they show up differs there. Uh, olives. Olives, olives, olives. Ah, need to scroll up for that. It does seem edible. The weight is okay, says the worker, but we have oldsters coming around here. Yeah. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. Good to keep things simple, I think. What kind of dosh are we looking at for this thing? Not bad, but we could always make more money. We'll call this the Franco. Alright, who else wants a pizza made for them? Choose the ingredients and we'll make it right up. Is it possible to make a pizza with every ingredient on it? Yeah, but I imagine that would massively add to the amount of stock that you have to have in. I should definitely be open later on. Everybody's getting hungry at this time of day, not in the morning. Call it the Bavarian and put what you think fits me, says Zarek. No, I will not reward that lack of creativity. Returning after a while, says Robbie, got bored of Yu-Gi-Oh! When it comes to punishment games, I play them for about two hours or so. Unless I have particular reason to play for much longer, and sometimes I do. All those pizza-hungry people passing me by, but no, I chose to be closed until 12. Come on, everybody, buy your pizzas here. I know they're nearby, and I know they want their pizzas. Jingo Rhythm wants one of everything spicy. All right, we'll make that once our day's pizza selling is done. All right, people might not be wanting my pizzas because they're way too expensive now. Who would have thought? All right, how did I do the the uh, the Franco? Seventy percent is probably fine. Well, one person bought my overpriced pizza. Ah, they're coming back in. Good, show me the money. One of the guests, an old, already very bent man, makes you a suggestion. I represent, well, I knew your great uncle. He asked me to watch your activities. Ooh. I'm going to let you take over one of the former restaurants. Sorry. 
I have to charge a certain amount of costs. So I'll be able to get my own place here in Rent Me. Hmm, but I need 4,500. Wait, who's going to retire on 4,500? Well, whatever. As long as people shower me in this dosh, we'll be okay. Alright, we're shut up for a day and this location blows, so let's move somewhere else. Yeah, right by the subway. Man, moving really chumps the performance here. Right, Jingo wants everything spicy. Can I not choose the sauce that goes on it? I mean, people don't always want tomato sauce on these things. Mm, I guess not. Okay, what's spicy? Bell peppers are not spicy, are they? Far from it. Wait, that's pepperoni? Not as I know it. What even is a porcino? None of these look particularly spicy. Ants, what? You just cover this thing in ants. Well, wait, and grasshoppers and maggots? Why do these things exist? And a vegan sausage. It's pretty spicy in a way. Not a lot of spicy ingredients, are there? Well, I suppose I could just cover the thing in chilies. Oh, and jalapenos. Alright, an acceptable price. Of course, the margin goes up a bit. Jalapeno on a pizza is just perfect. Great. Let's save you up. And this will be the afterburner. ourselves some maggots, a grasshopper, and some ants. And a, a big old frog. And some kangaroo meat, which I have had, it's not that bad. Price of this pizza is too high. Alright, maybe that was too much kangaroo for one man. Earthworms. Stick some bugs on it and call it the QA. Sold, Zergle. Doesn't let me do multi capitals there for some reason. Alright, adding the QA and the afterburner on. Have we sold any of that other one at all, I wonder? People are only ordering a couple pizzas. Oh no, the Franco got some. Some love for Franco. Alright, keep it going. Advertising pillar, yeah sure. So where do you get the supplies? I am also wondering how the supply network works here. Alright, I should clear out things that are blocking space. 
Do I still use tune on anything? Probably not. Jake, change the opening times. I don't know, maybe people will be using the subway in the evening. They're certainly not around here right now, so it doesn't make sense to be open at this point. Oh! Warning! Alforno needs further action. The average ingredient quality is bad. What do you mean, bad? We remove them at a certain threshold. We'll be fine. Ta-da! Oh jeez, there's nobody here. Hmm? You discovered kangaroo is a favorite ingredient of workers. One day in the game passes 60 times faster than in real life. One guest orders 20 pizzas instead of only one. Okay. Good to know. This location doesn't seem very good. It better pick up at night time. It sure ain't picking up. Tuna is a favorite ingredient of teens. Really? All right, well, this location is terrible. Better off here. Jing's passing, the time between being closed and being open is a little painful. Oh well, let's me relax. Yeah, so many more people here at this time. Don't know why they have this sound though. Well, it is a punishment game. Alright, here we go. I really enjoyed the short wait. Tell me about the pizza, not the waiting time. He got the couple's pizza. Maybe I meant to move around depending on where people are demanding pizza. I mean, look at them, they all want pizza over there. So maybe the clever thing to do is to move you over there. If such a place is even. Okay, now I'm losing all. Ah, yeah, maybe that place would be better. Clunk. Okay, this is where all the kids are. You want my maggot pizza? Yeah. Oh, you do? Okay. Get your maggots here. Okay, but now, surely school is over for the day and I'm not going to attract a lot of attention here. Well, you'd think, but people are still coming over. You've successfully completed the first big step on your way to establishing your brand. As you explore the city with your pizza cart, you learned a lot about the preferences of the population. You'll now have further information about rating your pizza and your neck. Yeah, okay, great. Achievement progress, baby steps, 12,000. Okay, so now I own this place, right? The restaurant that you were offered is not exactly first class. The location is mediocre and it looks a bit run down. 5,000 bucks plus rent is already steep, but the place is fully furnished. That saves money. All you need is personnel. Set up at least two shifts. Save money, you should try to keep your average employee costs as low as possible. Take into account what employee has different attributes. Cook would be good. Service employee needs to be fast. Okay, fair enough. Hire people. The restaurant causes fixed costs. 
Make sure not to hire employees that are too expensive. Hire people. Okay. Let's hire two cooks then. Who are we going to have? Well, the cheapest, of course. What are these stats? Cooking quality. Wow, that's a. Yeah, okay, sure. Garbage cooking quality, but particularly fast, seems good to me. And how about you? You're a bit better at both. Actually, maybe you're just too garbage to, to even consider. Let's bring in you, and let's bring in you. On you go, Marco. No, it's Monica. Whatever. The restaurant will be open for customers when the cooks and service employees are da 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 da. You can set working hours for employee from two, uh, six to twelve hours. Employees that work longer get sick faster. Frostpunk's here again. If an employee gets sick, you have to grant him one day off to cure him. Make sure the employee, the employee back up or adjust the shifts. All right. There we go. Well, no, we shouldn't be open at uh, those crazy times. Six in the morning until nine in the evening with a bit of crossover. That sounds good. And now we have some servicers. Again, why pay? What kind of mad person would pay? And then we have the crossover for what I assume will be the busy lunch period. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, looks great. Wait, did I actually hire service? Or did I hire something else? Cooks, runners. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I hired runners there. I am quite certain I've hired them. Big flashing button, Jake. Yeah, maybe it's waiting staff rather than runners. Alright. You're fired. You're also fired. Ah, right, I see. That's a tab. Didn't look like it, it melds into that. Richt. Cheap. I believe in cheap. Let's get you. And... Oh, that's friendliness. And this is speed. You're not very friendly, but you're super fast. I'll go for you, then. There we go. Excellent. Okay, and now I need those runners that I told to sort off earlier. Now I can't remember who I had. It was uh, Marco somebody, right? What do runners even do? Kind of missed that uh, important thing. Okay, whatever. I feel like I've done everything I need to do. Create at least two more menus. Two more pizzas and put them on the menu. Okay, more recipes needed. Hmm. Well, the couples, the QA, the afterburner, and the Franco all seem fine to me. I wonder if the runners need to not be around during work hours and should be there before it. If you are reading this, then it's true. Pizza is in our blood. The elderly gentleman who entrusted this restaurant to you is Arturo Andrisetti, and he owed me a favor. 
It's always good to pay your bills. And that's why I have to warn you about the Frodatos. They don't pay. They're tough, unscrupulous, and will make you their arch enemy as soon as they find out who you are. And they're gonna find out. So expect the worst. The world, my child, is not what it should be. I wasn't what I should have been. You'll understand. You'll learn the family history. Your great uncle, Carmine. Damn that Dr. Fred. That's the only family history I know. Okay, there are many people from all walks of life passing by. Try to adjust your recipes. They're at least 45% satisfied. Da -da 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 -da. Please your customers even further. Oh, good grief. Alright, I am with Punk Rock Lee, though. Three cheese pizza with some awful cheeses would be a great addition. Let's, uh, let's try making one. Architect? Yeah, no, no thank you. But I seem to have forgotten how to make more pizza. There's the bakehouse. Okay, vegan cheese sounds awful. Let's have a big chunk of that in the middle. And let's sprinkle it with some... Gorgonzola is actually really nice. And I don't even know what raclette cheese is. Add some more vegan cheese to it. Gorgonzola is awful and you know it. Yeah, I quite like it, but there are better cheeses out there. Alright. No, oh, wait. Customer rating for this pizza is horrible to everybody except workers. And even then, the workers don't like it that much. Shit, can you add a whole wheel of cheese? Oh, yeah, we can add large amounts of cheese. Not sure if whole wheel is what we're... Oh man. Alright, since no one likes this anyway, let's, uh, let's clear the whole thing. I must be able to rotate this somehow, right? Mm, you'd think so. Ah, there we go. Ah, right, right click allows me to do that, I see. Well, it's a pizza, but all ingredients are placed in the same spot. Don't sweat it. Somebody put a lot of love into this uh, pizza maker. And I will show my love in kind. I don't even want to imagine eating this thing. <laughs> Nobody likes it. Two kilo pizza with nothing but tomato and cheese on it. I can't order this in. Nobody, nobody wants it. I wonder why they don't like it so much. I guess the price of the pizza is very high. What if we just made it very cheap? No, they still don't like that. Okay, because even at that price, it's way too high. Jake, that's one of the features of this series. They always had this detailed pizza maker. I suppose that explains why it's sold separately. Right, unfortunately, my uh, clogger isn't going to make a particularly good pizza here. Ooh, bigger range than the truck. I wonder if I still have the truck. I do! And it's still selling maggoty pizza to the kids. Well, as long as it works. Ooh, that's the place to be. Next to the bar.
Where's our pizza place again? Is this it? No, but I could rent that one if I wanted to take over. Oh god, where's my place? Is that it? There we go. Right, people are coming in. People are getting their pizzas. In fact, they're gobbling up the... Ooh. I forget which pizza that was. Was it the Franco? Well, I've satisfied some workers at least. The students are a little less satisfied. showing me here. Automatically show report at the end of each day. Sure, why not? Perfect and perfect. That's all you need to tell me. Don't drown me in useless information. If the average ingredient quality is bad. That's fine. We'll be okay. We have a lot of ingredients here, though. Eight kilos of chili, 45 kilos of jalapenos. All right, eat my disgusting pizzas, everybody. Give me money, at least. Money appears to be going down. What if you click on the start stats and a person's information? Maybe you can see the other option. Hang on, hang on. I could increase your stats for money. I'd rather not, though. You're in the red. Uh-oh. You tell me people aren't buying my delicious pizzas here. Nobody likes the QA. In fact, even the couple's pizza isn't doing so good. I should probably remove the QA because it's costing me a lot of uh, dosh to make. The Prussian, a pizza with thin slice of potato, pork, onion, and sausages. How is Yu-Gi-Oh? Well, it's better than this. I have a feeling that my company is going to be going down the drain here. I mean, with a sign like that... Yeah, people are buying the pizzas, but uh, something is costing me an arm and a leg here. I can't complain about pizza at La Vendetta. And yet they do. Right, these ingredients are costing me an arm and a leg. In fact, I'd say it's really just the ingredients that are costing me here. What ingredients did I spend $14,000 on? Probably all those jalapenos, which I have 246 kilos of. Maybe the frogs cost a lot of money as well. And then they go back. Oh god, yeah! <laughs> 200! Fifth of a ton of tuna! Who needs that much? <laughs> Ten kilos of ants just wriggling around in the uh, storage. Alright, we'll see what happens when we eat the red for too long. Checklists, employees and such. 
Hmm. I mean, people come in and eat, but it's hardly a thriving business. Wait, look at that. You just got served up some burnt pizza. I didn't feel very welcome. Jeez. Probably because of my crummy service. And, you know, the burnt pizzas that they're... Be look at that! Look at that freaking pizza! I mean, sure, maybe it's because I bought somebody that does crummy uh, cooking quality, but still. You're giving my pizzas a bad name here, cooks. The game doesn't seem so bad so far, says Pepper. Eh, not really. I think if you got into it, it would be a fairly decent uh, management game. But the performance is pretty awful. This, this game is chugging, and I turned all the uh, graphics down to minimum. <laughs> they were kicked out, even though they hadn't finished their pizzas as well. And I don't know, I just find something so hollow about this experience. Pizza Connection 1 and 2 and Pizza Syndicate had more soul, says Zarek. I, these games went completely under the radar for me. I'd never even heard of them. Maybe it should have stayed that way. This guy's useless. Is no, it's a, it's a lassie. She's only making crummy burnt pizzas for everyone. How do you burn a pizza? Especially when you make so many pizzas in a day, you'd think you'd get the cooking time down right. Too bad you were in debt for too long. Rethink your strategy and start again. Do I have to? How can a person love Rosettier and hate this, says Asselkur. Um, Rosettier was very charming. This is very not. Yeah, and Death Shed saying it right, empty mediocrity can be worse than bad. Pain. Richt. We're back to where we started. And now it still wants me to hire people, and yeah, I get it. Alright, let's do it. Two cooks. Maybe it is worth getting people that are not terrible at their job. Because the, uh, the cost of having people that are really bad seems to be a touch painful. I'd rather have friendlier than faster at this point. I didn't quite get the higher runners part. When should they be working? think. Nah, that time seems fairer. Okay. But then, we need some better pizzas here, probably. Nobody's 
satisfied. Alright, let's try a hand at making some pizzas that people actually like for a change. I know that's a bit of a radical idea, but let's give it a go. Jiggly. Right, nobody likes it so far, but I bet they'd like it if they had tomatoes on them, right? Everyone loves tomatoes. Still a bit of a big tomato. And uh, onions. Onions are good. And some mushrooms are good. And some vague and disgusting cheese. And chorizo. And you gotta go heavy on the meat, but hey, it's starting to make people feel a bit happier. Oldsters, teens, and workers like this mess of a pizza. I mean, it's not over the moon happiness, but it's regular happy. Finally, you can fix your pizza border gore. Well, you know, the old people, the teenagers, and the workers seem to like this one. And the price seems acceptable. Try the border gore out. Now I need big shots, students, and tourists. What are big shots like? They're like seaweed, right? I like seaweed on a pizza. Let's have lots of it. And I'll have some corn on this cobber. Maybe it's gotten too heavy for them all, because Big Shot sure doesn't like it. Pizza has a good amount of toppings, but not enough for him to like it. Hmm. What else do Big Shots like? They like apples. Well, it's still not something he likes that much for some reason. Maybe it's not expensive enough. liking that at all. Would you eat a pizza with two whole corn cobs on it? Probably not, but I do like uh, I do like corn on the cob. The price of this pizza is too high. What? I just I just made it, man. You like figs on the thing, right? How much of this stuff does it take for the big shot to like it? Because he still hates it. And everybody hates this thing. Season it with some jalapenos, and it's still still not tickling anybody's fancy. Hmm. Preference for this ingredient category. Still think it's worth having a corn on the cob on the thing. I think the price is still set to very high. No, it's still set to 50%. Oh, well, this one's picking up in the student and teen categories. Slam a lemon on it. Oh, now the students really like it. 
Not bad. All right. How about some grapes? Will you like that as well? No, but the great, uh, the big shot liked it for a little bit. Let's add fewer grapes then. Something about the big shot liked it for a little bit with the grapes. Maybe some kiwis are better. Maybe some dates. I could just have it like this and have it as the ultimate student pizza, but what do students like more than that? Yeah, nothing really. It's a delicate balancing process here. Jake, can you make the Prussian thin slices of potato, pork, onions, and sausage? Yeah, we'll do the Prussian after this. But there must be something that'll make the students really love this thing. Maybe I should look at student. It has a good amount of toppings. Okay, but how can we make it better for you? Some apples, perhaps? Yeah, the weight becomes just okay there. Oh well. Alright, it's time for the Prussian. Can you make the Prussian thin slices of potato? How thin? Let's make some battle lines here. Um, pork, onion, and sausages. Oop. And where's that onion at? just to make something that the workers absolutely adore. Alright, there we go. The Prussian is ready. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, the border gore is loved by... Okay, teens and oldsters. The exam is for the students. And then we have the Prussian for the uh, for the workers. Did I not have the couples pizza that was good for uh, tourists? Not really, but it's good for oldsters. But I need something for the big shots, and I've had a hard time making something for the big shots. The Estonian's got to go, and the Franco wasn't helping either, neither was the Afterburner. I forget what was the QA. Uh, I forget who, the, who liked the QA. Teens, kind of. Well, if it works for them, it works for them. Try bacon, cheese, and pepperoni with mushrooms, says Vicky. Where's our bacon? No, that is snake. Very different from bacon. Too much bacon. I'm kidding, of course. There's no such thing. There's a lot of kinds of cheese we can have. Let's just go for mozzarella, though. Mozzarella. Um, 
student will love pretty much anything. You shouldn't focus on them, says Asselcore. Well, uh, pepperoni and mushrooms. This game's making me fairly hungry. Well, the teens love it, but Big Shot still hate it. And it's very cheap. Hmm. It's easier to remember that way. Alright, what can I do for big shots? Hmm. If big shots say they like tomatoes, well here's a whole bunch of tomato for you. They don't really care for cheese, but they like f fruits. And zucchinis. See, I'm doing all this, but the big shots are just not happy. Maybe the way ingredients work together is of actual importance. So if we have, say, tomatoes, they should go with something that goes well with tomatoes, like these things. Price of this pizza is too high. No, it's not. Oh well, maybe that margin's hurting it. Have some kidney beans, big shot. God, these guys are impossible to please. Call the chef. Okay. Pay a chef to create a pizza for a specific citizen type. The more you invest, the better the pizza will be. Hmm. And I can change the chef quality. Yeah, I want a big shot one. Make me the high earner here. I beg your pardon? Kidney beans, kiwis, edam cheese, and ants. And the big shots love it. Sure, why not? Let's go and put everything out. The teens. The exam, the high earner, the Prussian, the border gore. Alright, well there we go. Let's see how this works. Customers want to eat now that the crew is ready for work. It's time to design the menu. Oh, right, I didn't actually put it on the menu. Yes, I did. Had your wished game. My dear grandmas. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Let's move. Let's move on. If ingredients aren't needed, then get rid of them, especially if it's 40 kilos of tuna. Customers want diversity. It's a lie. I should shove the made for teens in the exam in here. <clears throat> Rather than the... No, but the QA makes decent dosh here, doesn't it? Alright, screw those. To please your customers even further, you can train your employees. Nah. Alright, buy my pizzas because I don't want to go out of business here. Mm. 
Wait, critical status? How can this be? I appear to not have money. Also, I don't recall setting this opening time. Oh, it's open from 3 in the morning. Right. Oh, well, whatever. Probably means I'm paying people when I shouldn't have that. Oh, well. People want their breakfast pizza anyway. Eat up, folks. I am hungry for profit. Profitable. Show the city that you can make a restaurant profitable, then you'll get new offers. Earn 15,000 bucks. I'm on it, chief. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe the pizzas I'm selling aren't expensive enough. But at least they're not all burnt to hell and back this time. Jeez, I'm just hemorrhaging money here. It's like every pizza I serve is costing me money. But I'm getting those baby step achievements. Don't worry, we're showing the world how profitable we are. Lumenek, that's that's bad news. Why is this place open in the middle of the night? asks Speed112. Well, that tends to be when people really want a pizza. Big problem with Sweden is that nowhere's blooming open after 10 p.m. Can we create our own restaurant interior or is it set? There was an option there for something. Ah, yes, architect. Here we go. Full on Sims mode. Change the layout. Hire. Select furniture. Pick up furniture. Rotate. Alright, so if you like The Sims, you can do things like this. Except I don't think I can place anything because I got no dosh at all. That's alright, people can stand. <laughs> Big red chinks, this game is punishingly bad on the uh, performance. Uh -huh. Oh, right, you're my uh, employee. Well, I got bad news for you you're fired. Just runs home crying. Even after they came into work at three in the morning. <laughs> I wonder if I went back to this. Could I call the chef and make a really good worker pizza? No, because I don't have the cash. You got a console command for extra cash? It would seem not. Looks like the frames were tied to the furniture. Yeesh. Well, that's a thought. The game Twitch is still saying that we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Anybody coming here for sweet Yu-Gi-Oh action is going to be horribly disappointed. I th I ended up rather enjoying uh, Yu-Gi-Oh there, but I know I would never get into it because, good God, all those card rules to read. TTC just does not. TTC. TCG, trading card games, 
they just seem massively unappealing to me. Alright, now there's something else I want to see here. Chef, I want to see what appeals to old people. Oh, but what if I pay you, like, nothing? What are you gonna make? Again with the ants. But the oldster thinks it's super yummy. Hmm. Okay, so what if I wanted one that would appeal to... Tourists. Again with the ants! What is wrong with these people? They set the profit uh, margin really high though. Old people are in the war, they're probably used to eating ants. But ants and maggots? Seasoned with ginger? That's possibly the least appealing pizza that we've seen here. Alright, chef, one more for me. Tell me what the workers really want. I'll shell out every penny I can for you. That is super basic. Nothing but ricotta and pepperoni. Oh, but the workers are all over it. Just make an ant-themed restaurant. Yeah. What if we were to add some ants to it? The workers are a little less happy, but they would eat it. There we go. With a modest amount of ants, they're still really happy. Let's kind of shave down the ants a bit. <laughs> Must be because ants are so cheap. It's high margin. Hmm. Is that so? Three grams of ants is 0 0.02 dollars. Yeah. Let's get some bigger numbers here. 30 grams of ants for 15 cents. Cheaper than maggots. A whole lot cheaper than earthworms. Yeah, it looks like having these proportions way out isn't working. Alright, let me try my own dab hand at this. I was struggling with the big shots before, but what if I just gave him a few tomatoes? And some uh, apples. And suddenly we have something that the big shots rather like. Well, more than before at least. it a bit more now. Just keep piling on that meat and see what he says. No, no, it's just a big turn off. 300 grams of whole tomatoes. Hey, I like whole tomatoes. I ate them raw. What a, what a mess. Oh man, I love Pizza Connection 1, brings back memories of Mafia guys looking like Spock, says VM370. Well, I sure as heck don't like this. Doesn't look like a bad game, but there's just something that feels like it's sapping the soul out of me by playing this. Yeah, yeah, I've seen enough. I've seen plenty enough of this. I'd rather go back to Yu-Gi-Oh! and uh, be reading up about our cards here. Alright, yeah, I've, uh, I've had enough of looking at this game. Which means the only game left on the punishment list that we're to, uh, we're to tackle is Night Cry, or Night Sky, Night something or other. And that's been around for ages because the game is incredibly expensive and seems to never go on sale, but I'm waiting for the moment that it does. Back to Yu-Gi-Oh, eh? No, I, I think not. How about back to Jake eats something that isn't covered in ants? 
I'm going to be back in about three hours, and we're going to continue on with uh, Europa Universalis. And it's looking pretty grim there. It's looking pretty very grim. Originally I'd said no, but uh, there was a party this evening that got cancelled, so instead I'll get back to streaming. Alright, cheers for joining for these Punishment Games, and for those that weren't aware, hey, what are you up to? Uh, punishment games are rolled every time I fail one of my weekly one-shot challenges. Uh, we've been failing a few lately. I don't know what the next one will be. I'm thinking another Nintendo 64 game, because I want to be in an N64 bender for a bit. Uh, but I will consult that. I'm thinking Majora's Mask. I'm also thinking Banjo-Tooie. We'll see what's what, but if I fail it, we'll have more punishment games coming. So if you are subscribed to the channel and you think you have a great idea for a punishment game, just ping me wherever is relevant, and we'll add it to the hmm, add it to the list. All right. So until EU4 tonight, it's a cheers, and until our next stream, Mamma Mia. <laughs>